What's up everybody? Welcome to a tutorial on a random team generator. Uh, so as you can see, I have green team, blue team, and yellow team. Uh, so what this is for is, um, let's say you have a group of people here and you want to make random teams. Um, you just flip this lever and then everybody in this area will be teleported to random teams. And the teams will be even as well. Um, so I'll show you how it works in a minute, but I'll just demonstrate for now. So flip it on, as you can see, off, on. So it's on. Now whenever anybody enters this area, you teleported to a random one. Um, it's not entirely random, but it will select. If there's a group of people, it'll select a random person. Um, but it actually goes in order of like green team to blue team to yellow team back to green team. Um, and that makes it so that um, the teams are actually even. Um, so that is the work is, let me flip this off, um, when this is flipped, it powers off this redstone which activates this clock, um, which this comparator goes in this, uh, and this is test for if there are, if there's people, if there's actually people in this area, uh, and then if there are, it'll output this comparator which turns off this torch, which turns on this clock, which um, activates this thing and this is actually the the, the thing that teleports people um, so what happens is it'll uh, power this line of redstone which will power all the droppers and there's an item um, in each dropper um, and what that'll do is it uh, each time the item goes around each time it goes into like each time it gets sent by a dropper it'll go around these uh, hoppers so when it goes into this dropper um, after the clock pulses once um, it'll teleport at R which is a random person to um, random person that has these coordinates um, which is the this coordinate right here that block right there with a radius of three so radius of two three so anyone in this area um, so a random person in that area will get teleported to yellow um, then when it's powered again, it'll go around into here. So it's the exact same code, only it'll get teleported to these coordinates, which is green and this is blue. So essentially, it'll just keep grabbing a person and keep teleporting the person to a random place. Or it'll, it'll keep grabbing people from this spot and doing it until there is no more people. Um, that's what this test for command is for. Make sure that there's no more people so then this, this redstone is not continuously activating um so yeah even, even if this is on if there's no people there the redstone's not, not activating um that's what this is for in case you were wondering uh so yeah this this can be really helpful for like pvp maps or something like if there's if there's teams you can do this with any number of teams um all you have to do is just uh, make this bigger with more droppers obviously you can just extend it in any direction um and it'll make the teams completely random so that'd be really good for for anything that you really need random teams in. I mean, like, if you just can't decide, like, if you're playing with your friends or whatever, just can't decide who should be on what team, you can just build this. Um, so if you want to know the... I'm not going to build all the redstone because you can pretty much just see here, but if you want to know the commands, um, this is the first command, so look very carefully. And so the X coordinate, so you want to, you know, create, create an area where you want um, the people to be in, like the group of people that are supposed to be teleported to the teams so create the area take the coordinates of the middle block and then measure um, like how many blocks to create the radius um, so that's where you put it x equals whatever the x value is or the y value is whatever z value is and then radius of like I said just just count the blocks to the edge of the area uh, and that's all so make sure to get that right and then very basic wiring you've just got one item in these hoppers one item in this hopper um, and then each command block is the exact same thing it's TP at R make sure it's at R because that's a random person um, in these coordinates these are the exact same exact same coordinates as in the other command block that I showed you and then these are the coordinates of the teams and of course you can also add um, you'll also want to add um, like a, ma a command block that um, sets them like if you if you have a scoreboard of teams um, then 
as soon as they arrive here i'm sure you can set up some sort of system to put them on that team so put them on yellow team the scoreboard system um and again this is the exact same exact same command as um the other two command blocks here it's just different coordinates so make sure to get the coordinates correct and yeah that's pretty much all so uh yeah this like i said this can be really useful um so if you did find this useful or or interesting please leave a like and a subscribe if you're new check out my other redstone tutorials and stuff and my let's play and yeah thanks for watching see you later